Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Hey, this is a nice one. 2024 Capstone Edition Sequoia. Hey, in this video, we're going to take this one for a quick spin. Love the color on this, the silver with the chrome. Man, this is a gorgeous vehicle. So we're going to take this one out for a test drive and see what we can learn. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Before we jump out on the road, just a couple quick things. This is the Platinum Edition with the Max Hybrid uh, power plant. So this is the most uh, highest performance, most horsepower, the Mac Daddy of all power plants on this one. And this is the Platinum Edition. So the Platinum Edition is the very top of the line. I'm sorry, Capstone Edition. Forgive me. This is the Capstone Edition. And the capstone is the very top of the line in the luxury edition for the Sequoia. We'll jump out here on Odana Road. There's the uh, smart Toyota dealership there over on the left. Uh, many, many times Wisconsin's number one Toyota dealership, volume Toyota dealership. It is a tremendous facility, great service, huge showroom. They really do a great job at smart Toyota. So let's talk about the uh, Sequoia Capstone Edition. Because it's the top of the line, it is flat out loaded with goodies. Uh, there's only a few options on, on available on a Capstone. This one has one of the very few options available, and that is it has the uh, dash cam. So up behind the mirror, there's actually a dash cam. It's an extra charge, $4.99, and that's more of a setup for um, for in case you get into an accident so it records as you're driving and then if you get in an accident it'll it'll keep the previous i believe it's 30 or 60 seconds and then it'll keep 30 or 60 seconds after that so that you can give that information to the authorities so that's an upgrade otherwise everything else on this one is going to be standard and i'll point out some of the things as we go so the capstone edition standard with the top of the line uh, entertainment center uh, entertainment center info center multimedia center this is the 14 inch touchscreen design really great design Toyota is now designing all their own software and their own hardware so it's very very responsive notice there's no switches buttons on here it's all fingertip touch the only knob is the power on and the volume down here and you also have the same over on the steering wheel for the volume and then this is the JBL audio system which again is their top of the line system so with that you pick up some extra speakers and extra subwoofer there's speakers up here in the uh, up here in the a pillar on both sides so those are part of the jbl audio system really great system uh, won't be able to play it on my test drive uh, youtube doesn't like it when you play copyrighted music so i won't be able to bring that up for you but that's okay there's plenty of other things to talk about on the capstone so the ride on this is very smooth it is a body on frame construction suv so it's not a unibody uh, which makes the, the vehicle more rigid and it's riding on 20 in, 21 inch cast aluminum wheels and these are a chrome wheel so a nice smooth ride on this but yet a lot of rigidity which is what you need for trailer towing or off-road driving albeit this is the luxury edition so i don't recommend using it for heavy off-road driving uh, i would go with the trd pro if if that's what you're thinking of using it for heavy off-road driving but for luxury driving running around town We've got a seven passenger seating, buckets up front, captain's chairs in the second row, and then three passenger seating way in the back with the power third row seat. So notice I'm at the stoplight. I hope you can see this, but with the 360 view, I can actually see the cars in front of me and I can also see overview how close the cars are behind me. There's lots of different perspectives. I can see the car next to me, I can see the car behind me, or I can exclusively see what's in front of me. So there's lots of different views on there. Uh, pretty cool stuff. You know, one of the things I like about this is sound, the roar of the engine. Don't know if you can hear that, but um, 
This is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 with the hybrid synergy system, produces 437 horsepower. And on the new Sequoia, the exhaust comes out on the driver's side. So if you like to hear the roar of the engine, you'll be able to hear it crack your window and it sounds awesome on here. Of course, we have electronic power steering, power brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, analog brakes, traction control, a 10-speed automatic uh, transmission, four-wheel drive, and different drive modes, tall haul mode as well. Sounds awesome. So we've got a 12-inch gauge cluster inside here. It's a computer screen, all electronic. Uh, stop by the dealership, take a look, and let me know what you think. Uh, we also have on the capstone heads-up display. So projected up on the windshield right now is my speedometer, my uh, my uh, compass, and then it also has road sign detection. So as I approach the speed limit sign up here, it's going to show on the on the windshield what the speed limit is. Pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop talking just so you can hear the, how much wind and road noise there is or isn't. Plenty of power with the turbo for highway uh, fast rolling on the highway. So 60 to 75, pretty darn quick. We'll go ahead and exit here. So other uh, amenities on the inside, we've got heated and ventilated front and second row seats. We've got three different air conditioning system, front driver, front passenger, and then the rear passengers have their own heating and air conditioning controls back there. So that's good for them. I've got a heated steering wheel, leather wrapped. It's awesome, I've got it turned on right now. I've got passenger assist grips up here. It does sit up really high with that 21 inch uh, wheels and that higher suspension. So you're gonna need that, those. Also it has running boards on the outside that help to jump up and get in. And then overhead we've got uh, the virtual mirror here so there's actually a camera in the back that projects up on the to the mirror and then you have garage door openers or you can go to the traditional mirror look we've got safety connect also the capstone comes standard with the panoramic moonroof which I have open right now that's where my camera is connected we also have safety connect for roadside assistance down below we've got our trailer tow modes We've got wireless charging down here for our smartphone. You just set it in there, wirelessly charges it. That's cool. There's storage cubbies underneath. There's a lot of room under the center armrest too, if you pop that open. This one has the combination ivory and the black interior. And I really like it. It makes it feel more wide open, makes it feel bigger inside. The only thing I don't like about it is they actually use the ivory on, on the high touch points on the armrest. So if you've got dirty hands and you go to get in and out, you're gonna, your armrest is going to get dirty. Um, you can't see it in the daylight, but there's actually blue ambient lighting inside. And it goes underneath your doors and it also shines underneath there. So that ambient lighting. There's actually a switch up here for mood. They call it mood lighting. So you can turn that on and off up on the ceiling there. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Capstone also has a memory, uh, two driver memory, and that controls your outside mirrors, your, your electric steering wheel, which is power in and out, up and down, and your driver's seat and your radio station. So it coordinates for two separate drivers. That's really cool. Uh, the sound system allows you to connect two different cell phones inside here as well. Of course, we have uh, 4G connectivity for your uh, to be able to get your computer up and running in here as well. So if you have Verizon, you can go ahead and connect that or AT&T. So that's all pretty cool. You can see it just automatically switched for me with the perspective so I can see the car next to me. I can see the car in front of me. I can see the car behind me. Really great stuff. There's a lot of room up here too. I'm a small small person, but uh, it, it a lot of room. This, like I say, under this armrest, huge amount of storage. Seven passenger seating. You can't see in the video, but the leg room in the back, in the second row, and the third row is awesome. The second row, no problem. Third row is 
for smaller adults adults back there and then the back the back row seat the three passenger third row is actually power operated so you can fold it up and down just using a switch and the back seats the also recline back there as well so gosh there's so much on this vehicle uh, you really should stop by the dealership take it for a spin this one is still available for sale it's the first capstone that has not been pre-sold it's on the lot today on december 6 2024 you can find it online at smarttoyota.com or just swing by the dealership and they'll work up a deal and a price you could agree to it's ready to go you could literally take it home today in fact it's full of gas and it's ready to go so smart toyota fills every car up to get up with gas so the day you come in and buy it boom Run it through the car wash, wipe, wipe it down, clean it up, touch it up, and away you go. You could be driving your new Sequoia for this holiday, upcoming holiday this weekend. This one's ready to go right here at uh, Smart Toyota. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, give me a, a question in the comments, and I'll take care of that for you. And then be sure to watch. I'm going to do two more videos on this one. I'm going to do an exterior walk around, and then I'm going to do an interior presentation. So a total of three videos coming up on this one. Hope you're able to catch them all. Link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.